good morning children i think all of you are fine by staying at home staying indoors using mask and using sanitizer so once again we may recapitulate our lesson force so there are two types of forces one is contact force and the other one is non contact force so already we discussed these topics in the previous class so we'll see some pictures of that things see here all of you know that there are two types of forces one is contact force and the other one is non contact force see here what is force force is nothing but the force is is an external cause which changes or tends to change the state of rest or of uniform motion so what is force force is nothing but when we are applying force if you pull an object or if you push an object then its position is changing there is change in the position of the object or there is change in the rest position of the object here the boy is pushing the cart in the first picture and in the second picture he is pulling the cart so here he is doing two activities one is pulling and the other one is pushing in our everyday life we use these two types of actions one is pushing and the other one is pulling and second one there there are again these forces are again connected to balanced force and unbalanced force so balanced force and unbalanced force means oh, for example if you see if you see here see here a boy is pushing the door and the boy is pulling the door in the say in the two places in these two places this boy is applying his muscles means these are muscular forces these forces are called as muscular forces and see here this boy is closing the door with his hand the boy is closing the door with his hand means he is using his muscles so it is muscular force means a contact force and another one here the boy is shouting the boy is shouting means he is using his energy from his muscles with from his muscles he is getting energy and because of that his mouth muscles are opening and he is shouting so this is a another type of muscular force while doing these actions these actions in our everyday life to brush to take a bath and to eat to write and to walk all these things to do everything like this in our daily life we have to use our muscles so these are muscular forces or contact forces contact forces under contact forces muscular forces is the first one so here see here if you see this a uh, horse is connected to a cart with a rope means the cart and horse are connected with a rope the horse is moving in the forward direction and the cart is also moving in the same direction because the horse is moving both are in contact with a rope so it is a contact force here the horse is applying contact force uh, and see here in this picture also the woman is pulling the trolley so there is also the trolley and the woman are connected with a rod or rope so here also there is a contact between the two objects so it is also a contact force so if you see if you throw a ball on the rough surface after some time after moving to some distance the ball will stops why it is stopping are you stopping 
no we are not stopping it but there is a force which is stopping the ball uh, the two surfaces in contact the road surface and the ball surface which are in contact will be stopped by another force after some time that force is called frictional force so this is the another contact force see here this bus is traveling on the or moving on the road after applying brakes to that bus the bus comes to rest after moving after moving some distance the bus comes to rest why it is coming to rest because of the same reason the uh, tires the surface of the tires and the surface of the roads which are in contact have been opposed by a another force that force is called frictional force see here if you imagine this as the green colored surface is the road and the blue colored surface is the bus uh, the bus is moving in the forward direction and between the two surfaces you may observe an another arrow that arrow is acting in the opposite direction that is nothing but frictional force so the force which opposes the motion of a moving object is called friction okay see here if you observe this we are bringing a magnet to the needle compass needle though we are not touching the needle that compass needle is deflecting why it is deflecting means the magnet is having a field around it that field force is making the needle to move so it is a non contact force magnetic force will comes under non contact force okay see here the pieces of papers are attracting towards a balloon this force is nothing but this force is nothing but electrostatic force this is also comes under non contact force and another one see here uh, the fruits from the tree are falling to the earth why the fruits are falling to the earth though they are not moving towards upside because of the same reason a force is pulling the fruits towards the earth that force is called gravitational force e force name antaru gravitational force anta this is also comes under non contact force see here we are doing an activity here we are doing an activity here we are taking uh, we are throwing the ball on three surfaces first surface is the rough road and the second surface is the carpet and the third surface is the smooth tiles so if you observe on which surface does the ball travels more distance on the on the road or on the carpet or on the tiles yes the ball travels more distance on the smooth tiles why because the opposing force or the frictional force is less on the tiles when compared to the road and the carpet okay see here so see here if you observe uh, the ball traveled less distance on the rough road and the ball traveled somewhat more distance when compared to the rough road it has traveled more distance on the carpet and it traveled maximum distance on the smooth tiles why because the opposing force is less for example if some water is uh, poured on if some water falls on the floor uh, unexpectedly if you put or if you step your foot on that floor you may fall down why because your surface of contact between the floor and your feet uh, the opposing force is less why because of the water so here we are doing an another activity we are taking a tray and we are fixing a white paper on it and we are placing three objects on it and uh, we are drawing a line by using a ruler one is the ice cube and the other one is 1 rupee coin and the other one is eraser so like this we may draw a line with a ruler and after that you are tilting the after that we are tilting the tray we are tilting the tray so if you if you observe 
are you observing which traveled more distance the ice cube traveled more distance why because it is having less opposing force when compared to the 1 rupee coin and the eraser so means why because it traveled more distance because it is having a smooth surface the ice cube is having a smooth surface so the opposing force or the frictional force is less between the paper and the ice cube okay then see here uh, we are placing a book upon the table so what we are doing we placed a book upon the table and two forces are acting on the book so one force the weight of the book is acting downwards and the force of the table is acting upward so because of that the net force is becoming zero f net is equal to f1 minus f2 so, see here we are taking a retort stand and we are suspending a bob with a thread we are suspending a bob with a thread the bob is not falling down why the bob is not falling down because it has been suspended with a thread the thread is pulling the bob in the opposite direction and the bob wants to drag that rope in the downward direction the thread is uh, acting or uh, showing its force in the opposite dire uh, down upward direction and the bob is bob's force is acting in the downward direction so both the forces are getting cancelled so this force is called tension this force is called tension so see here so like this the bob's force is acting downwards and the thread's force is acting upwards so this we may call it as tension oh after that we are taking a spring balance we are taking a spring balance to the hook we are placing a uh, with the thread with the help of the thread in the plate we are uh, keeping the weights in that plate so uh, if we are putting 100 grams if we put 100 gram weight in that plate then the same measure will be showed in the spring balance now if you increase the weight this uh, means if you are increasing the weight to 150 grams the same measure will be shown in the spring balance and after that you are goes on increasing the measure of the uh, we are goes on increasing the weight uh, gradually the uh, measure also the points also goes on showing its weight and after that up to now we suspended this spring balance to a nail now you are removing that spring balance from the nail and you are putting the total set on the table you are putting it on the table and by simply putting on the table you are placing the weights in the plate so here what is happening uh, when uh, if you see this while you are putting 100 grams in the plate but the measure is showing 10 grams you are putting 100 grams but the measure is showing 10 grams why because here the gravitational force is not acting upon the weight so in that in the first activity the spring balance has suspended to the nail a rough ఒక వాల్కి మనం దాన్ని తగిలిచ్చాము ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తున్నాము జస్ట్ యూ రిమూవ్ ద టోటల్ సెటప్ అండ్ యూ కెప్ ద టోటల్ సెటప్ ఆన్ ద టేబుల్ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ ద గ్రావిటేషనల్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ నాట్ యాక్టింగ్ అపాన్ ద వెయిట్స్ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ దో వీ ఆర్ పుట్టింగ్ హెవీ వెయిట్ బట్ ద మెజర్ ఈజ్ షోయింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ సి హియర్ అగైన్ యు ఆర్ కెప్ట్ హండ్రెడ్ గ్రామ్స్ అండ్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ సి హియర్ it is showing 25 grams so now again we have we kept some more weight but it is showing 65 grams means here we kept 150 grams but the measure is showing 65 grams why because the spring balance is not connected to the or the spring balance is not to the nail it is on the table 
so because of that the gravitational force is not acting on the weight because of that the reduced measure is showing on the spring balance okay then uh, for this activity means uh, uh, the magnet is having field power around it i said in the i said uh, previously no so uh, to prove that the magnet is having field around it to prove that we are doing a another activity here we are taking two needles sieving needles battle kurta madama aa needles ni teeskunnamu aa needles ni teeskoni we are rubbing the magnet from up to down up to down means oka sari pai nunchi kindike rub chesesi malli em chestunamu malli mana cheyetti malli pai nunchi kindike rub chestamu kinda nunchi pai ki rub cheyam anamata so like that we are we rubbed two needles means by rubbing like that for some time the needles became magnetized atla rub cheyadam valla needles em avutunnayi magnetize avutunnay anamata magnetize avadam valla ikkade em avutundante so like this by uh, holding the needle in the hand and you are rubbing from top to bottom and again you have to lift your hand up and again from top to bottom again you have to lift your hand up and again rub from top to bottom like that you have to magnetize your needles after magnetizing the needles to detect what is uh, the needle is having uh, which side is north and which side is south to detect that directions we are bringing the needles to the compass compass degariki teeskon vastunam so if you suspend the needle then then uh, the compass uh, shows north and south directions uh, by seeing that in the compass we may fix two ping pong balls or uh, styrofoam lo ostai kadamma chinna chinna balls lantivi uh, oka dan uh, renditni matram white color e unchukondi renditni matram red color cheskondi endukante north oka color south oka color for example north white color pettukunnaru anko south red color pettukondi so like that you have to Uh, see here uh, two styrofoam balls thermocol lo untai chudandi chinna chinna balls lantivi aa balls ni needles ki fix chestunnam anamata so and again here uh, here we are taking a uh, tray in that tray we are filling it with it with water and now we are placing the two needles in that water tray so after that see here uh, this red colored sides are south and the white color sides are north so now you are placing the same poles in the same direction means red red are facing same direction and white white are facing same direction so here from this though we are not making them to bring closer the needles are getting away why because of the field force because we magnetized the needles already mana magnet to ruddi ee needles ni magnetize chesam kabatti ee needles em ayipothunnayi dooram dooram ayipothunnayi enduku opposite poles kaadu same poles pettunnamo south south poles okate side north north poles okate side we kept two south poles together and we kept two south pole uh, south poles together so because of that they are getting reflected or repelling they are repelling they are repelling because of the same charges same charges repel and if you observe here now we interchange the places oka needle place ni marcham anamata red color unna da pakkaki white color unna di pakkaku now what is happening they are coming closer manam deggarki teeskon raakapoyina though we are not applying any force with your hand they are getting closer why because the unseen force is there there is some unseen force between the two needles that is called field force that is nothing but magnetic force or non contact force ipude emaindi ee rendu needles em avutunnai deggarku vachesnai anamata once again see here they get closer so once again see here in one tray we kept both colored balls to in the same side and both uh, white colored balls in the same side and 
in the other tray we interchanged the positions of the colored balls then what is happening the two needles are getting in the first tray they are moving away and in the second tray they are getting closer why because of the unseen force is acting between the two needles that force is called non contact force that force is called non contact force a uh, magnetic field or magnetic force is a non contact force it is an example for non contact force see here the boy is taking a balloon and he is blowing air into that balloon he is inflating the balloon and after inflating the balloon he is taking a paper and he is rubbing the balloon with the paper and after rubbing the balloon with the paper he teared the paper uh, he teared some he teared the paper into strips and he is bringing bringing the balloon towards that pieces of paper see here i think all of you are seeing that ee uh, balloon ni paper rudina balloon ni paper strips degariki teesukoni vaste what is happening the paper strips are strips are attracting to the balloon why because there is also an unseen force or a non contact force sir cheppandi sir ha good afternoon sir हलोके दी कटा नैट ओके यू सी हियर सारी फर् द इंटरपन सो इफ यू सी हियर अ बलून हाज बीन रबड वित् वैट पेपर एंड यू आर् ब्रिंगिंग दट रबड बलून टूवर्ड्स अ पीसस् आफ पेपर दैन वाट इस हैपनिंग द पीसस् आफ पेपर्स आर् अट्राक्टिंग टू द बलून मीन इट ईज इट ईज ए नॉन कॉन्टाक्ट फोर्स सो दिस ईज काल एलेक्ट्रोस्टाटि फोर्स सो हाउ मेनी फोर्स हाव comes under or coming under non contact forces one is magnetic force and the second one is gravitational force and the third one is electrostatic force these are the these three are the non contact forces all these three comes under non contact forces okay then see here here this man is throwing the ball means he is using his hand there is a contact between the ball and the man so it is a because of the applying force the ball is changing its position means it is a contact force see here a fruit is falling from the tree anyone are throwing the fruit from the tree towards that no no one is throwing the fruit from the tree but the fruit itself is falling on the tree it is a non contact force or a gravitational force so if you look at this man he is lifting the weights with his hand uh, all of you are observing i think so uh, here his muscles are bulging in which direction he is doing exercise in that direction his muscles are bulging means it is a muscular force means it is a contact force here also see the man is Uh, lifting the weight and the other man is holding the ball both are in contact with the weight and the ball so they are contact forces or muscular forces so to do we are doing another activity here so in this activity we are taking a white paper and we are keeping a bar magnet under that white paper after that putting the magnet under the white paper you are pouring some iron fillings on that white paper what we are doing 
This is another activity to find out the field force. Field force ni kanukkoda aniki idhi inko ka activity yama. So, aim yes na mo we are taking a white paper and below that paper we are putting a magnet. A magnet ni tarvata after that we are taking some iron fillings and we are pouring that iron fillings upon that paper. See, we are pouring some iron fillings upon that paper. After that, so they themselves aligned like circles. The iron fillings themselves aligned like a circle. From this we may say that there is a field force around the magnet. Iron ki magnet ke iron atuk kundu nthi gada anduku. A chuttu yenta varku dhani force unno anta varku iron fillings vati kave align hai pahin anu maata. So, from this we may conclude that the magnet is having a field force around it. Okay. Now, uh, coming to balanced forces and unbalanced forces. Make a starting lo Japan. Forces lo mali two types of forces. Na MMV balanced forces, unbalanced forces. See here, two boys are pushing the table. Two boys are pushing the table in the to the left side. Uh, see, that table will also move to the left side. So, here what is happening at one side, <coughs> at one side the force is more and the other side the force is less. So, because of that, A uh, side lo aite force takku undo, A side ki table move out to the other so, this is unbalanced force. What force it is? Unbalanced force. Eppidu oka object move aithadi? When there is unbalanced force in that direction, the object will move. See here, these two boys came to the opposite sides of the table and they are pushing now. So, what will happen? The, does the table move? No, the table does not move because both forces have been equaled in both directions. So, because of that, the table does not move. This is called balanced forces. Now, we are taking a rubber band. We are taking a rubber band and we have to, we are putting that rubber band between the index fingers of your two hands. Now, if you stretch that rubber band, uh, is it, do you feel easy? Yes, you may feel easy. Now, you are putting another rubber band. Now, you are putting another rubber band. Uh, do you feel easier while you are uh, stretching the first one rubber band? No, you, you feel somewhat difficult while you are stretching, the, stretching with your index fingers with two rubber bands. Now, again, see here, you have to apply more force. What should you have to do? You have to apply more force. For one rubber band, it is easier. Why? Because you are applying less force. For two rubber bands, it is difficult. It is difficult. Why? Because you are applying more force. And again, you are putting three rubber bands. It is somewhat difficult than the stretch. Intak mundu dhani karna, iputu stretch cheedam chala custom anu pishtu Why? Because we are the we are using three rubber bands and we have to work more we have to work more so means we have to apply more force so which one is easier which one is easier ma stretching one rubber band or stretching three rubber bands stretching one rubber band is easier than stretching three rubber bands Okay, then see here, here a car is moving on the rough surface, a car is moving on the rough surface and it is moving in the forward direction or to the left side, it is moving to the left side and both tires are having forces on the road, both tires are having forces on the road. They are N1 and N2. In the downward car 
దాని వెయిట్ డౌన్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్లో యాక్ట్ చేస్తూ ఉంటుంది అండ్ రోడ్ దాని ఫోర్స్ని అప్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్లో యాక్ట్ చేస్తూ ఉంటుంది సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ ద కార్ ఈజ్ నాట్ మూవింగ్ ద కార్ ఈజ్ నాట్ మూవింగ్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ సీ హియర్ సి దిస్ ఈజ్ అ క్యారమ్ బోర్డ్ నా టూ కాయిన్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ద మిడిల్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యారమ్ బోర్డ్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ వైల్ యూ ఆర్ అప్లయింగ్ ఫోర్స్ దెన్ ద క్యారమ్ కాయిన్ విల్ మూవ్స్ ఇన్ ద డిఫరెంట్ డైరెక్షన్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫోర్స్ అగైన్ విల్ కమ్ టు దిస్ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ అండ్ అన్బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఫోర్సెస్ సీ హియర్ ఇన్ ద అబవ్ పిక్చర్ సేమ్ త్రీ పర్సన్స్ ఆన్ ద లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ అండ్ రైట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద రోప్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ అప్లయింగ్ సేమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్స్ ఆన్ బోత్ సైడ్స్ బట్ is there any change is anyone are moving to right or moving to left no there is no change so if you see if you comes to the second picture down side of the picture here the three people on the left side are applying more force like 400 newtons and uh, the right side of people are applying less force that is 300 newtons Be- means it is the force is becoming unbalanced pi na emo బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఫోర్స్ ఉంది కిందికి వచ్చేసరికి అన్బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఫోర్స్ అయిపోయింది సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ద త్రీ పీపుల్ ఆన్ ద రైట్ సైడ్ దే ఆర్ పుల్లింగ్ టువర్డ్స్ ద లెఫ్ట్ వై బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద అన్బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఫోర్సెస్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్సెస్ విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్సెస్ ఎట్ ఫస్ట్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ రెస్ట్ పొజిషన్ ద వాట్ బాల్ పోల్ బాల్ ఏం బాల్ నన్ను అది గోల్ఫ్ బాల్ అండ్ ద టేబుల్ అండ్ ద బాక్స్ అండ్ ద ఫుట్బాల్ ఆర్ ఇన్ రెస్ట్ పొజిషన్ ఆల్ ఆర్ ఇన్ రెస్ట్ పొజిషన్ వెన్ దే ఆర్ మూవింగ్ వైల్ వీ ఆర్ అప్లయింగ్ ఫోర్స్ మనం ఫోర్స్ అప్లై చేస్తేనే ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ అన్నీ మూవ్ అవుతాయి సో ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ వి మే సే దాట్ ఫోర్స్ క్యాన్ మూవ్ ఏ స్టేషనరీ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ వీ క్యాన్ సే దాట్ ఫోర్స్ క్యాన్ మూవ్ ఏ స్టేషనరీ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ అండ్ సీ హియర్ we may stop a moving object by applying force see here the fielder is falling against the ball the fielder is falling against the ball and the uh, driver in the car is applying brakes with his foot means he is applying force with his foot why that the vehicle goes to stop and the goalkeeper is also stopping the ball by applying his force so uh, in all these three pictures these three people are using their force to stop the object so force acts to stop the moving object force affects the st- or force is helpful to stop the moving object and the other one is by applying force we may accelerate or decelerate a moving object see here the the girl is pushing the cyclist the girl is pushing the cyclist then what happens the speed of the cycle increases by applying force the speed increases see in the other picture this cyclist has been pulling by the another person on the skating board skating board paina vachya abbai a cycle meeda velle athanni venakki laagutunnadu so means the speed is reducing means the speed is decelerating so by applying force we may accelerate or decelerate a moving object this is the another effect okay then and the fourth effect is we may change the direction of a moving object see here the moving football is coming this uh, football player is kicking the ball and the direction is changing the the direction of the football is changing and here the batman is also is also hitting the ball means urkane ball cricketer degarki ellipothunda batsman degarki ledu kada the bowler used to bowl the ball then means the bowling ball it is moving the moving ball is goes and and the cricketer will hits the ball and automatically the 
direction of the ball changes so here uh, carom coins all carom coins are there on the carom board uh, striking the carom coins they may changes their direction so from this we may say that force affects the direction of a moving object and the other one is force affects the change of a shape change the shape of an object a toothpaste toothpaste ni kan linka lekapothe edaina kuda intlo pindi tadapadamu ha pindi mudda laaga untundi tarvata danni saaga deedamu inka circle shape lo cheyadamu means by applying force urkene dananta kade chapati ayipothundamma ledhu kada so you have to apply force by applying force the shape of the object is changing we may change the shape of an object by applying force we may change the shape of an object and here uh, by applying force we may change the size of an object see here that spring is while we are pressing it between your hands what is happening its size is reducing while you are applying more force upon the spring what is happening its size is increasing see here the sponge also while you are applying force its shape has changed or its size has changed here also the girl is blowing air into the balloon then what is happening when she is blowing air into the balloon means she is applying force then the size of the balloon is increasing by stretching rubber bands so by stretching rubber bands means we are applying force because of that force at first the rubber band is small by uh, by applying force what is happening its size is increasing it is expanding so these are the effects of forces so how many effects are there one is uh, by applying force we may change we may move the stationary object and the other one is by applying force we may stop a moving object and uh, by applying force we may accelerate or decelerate a moving object by applying force we may change the direction of a moving object by applying force we may change the shape of a object and by applying force we may change the size of an object so these are all the effects of forces types of forces gurinchi already manam vinnamu contact forces frictional force normal reaction force tension force collision force friction force ante edanna object move aitunnapudu దానికి ఆపోజిట్ డైరెక్షన్లో యాక్ట్ చేసే ఫోర్స్నే ఫ్రిక్షనల్ ఫోర్స్ అని చెప్తున్నాము అండ్ అనదర్ వన్ నార్మల్ రియాక్షన్ సో ఎవ్రీ టైమ్ వీ యూజ్ టు స్టాండ్ వీ యూజ్ టు రన్ వీ యూజ్ టు సిట్ అట్ దట్ టైమ్ అవర్ వెయిట్ ఈజ్ యాక్టింగ్ ఇన్ ద డౌన్వర్డ్ డైరెక్షన్ దట్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ నార్మల్ రియాక్షన్ ఎనీథింగ్ దట్ ఈజ్ సస్పెండెడ్ ఎనీథింగ్ విచ్ ఈజ్ సస్పెండెడ్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఎట్ స్ట్రింగ్ రోప్ or a rod whatever it may be then it is called as tension force that force is called as tension force that uh, tension force acts in the upward direction and the weight acts in the downward direction so next collision force me nak telsi meer andar goli la taartaru so goli la taade tappudu two marbles ni hit chesina appudu at first at first they comes closer and after that they moves in the opposite directions It means after hitting after hitting they are moving in the opposite direction that force is called collision force these are all contact forces these are all contact forces and coming to non contact forces gravitational force magnetic force electric force inna ka meek chupichanu ok chettu nunchi fruits are falling from the tree to the earth that is gravitational force and magnetic force inna ka two activities cheptunnamu ha the magnet is having field around it that is a magnetic force while uh, shutting the refrigerator's door and magnetic door catch denlallo untundi konni kontha mandi illallo talupu జస్ట్ టచ్ చేయకపోయినా అదే వెళ్ళిపోయి పడిపోతుంది ఎందుకు బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద మ్యాగ్నెట్స్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ద డోర్స్ అండ్ ద డోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద డోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్రిడ్జ్ అది కూడా అంతే జస్ట్ అట్లా టచ్ చేయంగానే దాని అంతా కదే వెళ్ళిపోయి క్లోజ్ అవుతుంది బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద మ్యాగ్నెట్స్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ద మ్యాగ్ డోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్రిడ్జ్ అండ్ ద స్క్రాప్ ద లిఫ్టింగ్ మెటల్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఇన్ ద జంక్ యార్డ్ బై యూజింగ్ క్రేన్స్ ఆ మ్యాగ్నెట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ 
सो दीज आर् आल मैग्नि फोर्स एलक्ट्रोस्टाटि फोर्स मैं ऐक्टिविटी चूसा बलून एयर तो इनफ्लैट दफ्टर इनफ्लेटिंग द बलून वित् एयर दैन वी आर् रिंग दट बलून वित् पेपर एंड वी आर् ब्रिंगिंग दट इनफ्लेटेड बलून टू द पीसस् आफ पेपर दैन वाट इज हैपनिंग द पीसस् आफ पेपर आर् अट्राक्टिंग टू द बलून सो इट ईज एलक्ट्रोस्टाटि फोर्स दीज आर् आल नॉन कांटाक्ट फोर्स already we discussed about effects of force and balanced force unbalanced force and then frictional force tension force co collision force all these things we discussed now we'll go to another one uh, another two effects of forces there are another two effects of forces here when the surface area of contact is more then the force is less and the area of contact is more here we are taking a pencil and we are pressing the pencil to the side of rubber rubber unde direction lo rubber unde tattu em chestunnamo mana chey paina ottukuntunnamo then you may feel less pain means neeku pedda press chesinattu anipiyad anamata now you are taking the same pencil and you are pressing the pencil in the direction of the nib uh, lid untundi kada lid unde direction lo press chestunnam ni palm paina then uh, you feel that it pierced somewhat depth chala lopalki guchukunnattu chala lopalki ni charma mellinattu anipistundi why because the area of contact is less ee mm, lid tagile place chala takkuva place kabatti when the area of contact is less force is more when the area of contact is more when the area of contact is more force is less so chudandi ikkada ikkada chudandi area of contact a circle red circle kanipistundi kada ma area of contact more adhe ikkada chudandi lid unde direction lo pin chesamu akada chinna circle so from this we may say that when the area of contact is more force is less when the area of contact is less force is more for this we are doing an activity that activity is nothing but we are taking two trays and we are filling those two trays with sand and uh, after filling those two trays with sand we are taking two bricks two bricks and we are placing those bricks one in the vertical direction and the other one in the horizontal direction ఈ టూ బ్రిక్స్ని ఏం చేస్తున్నాము వర్టికల్ డైరెక్షన్లో ఒక ట్రేలో పియర్స్ చేస్తున్నాము ప్రెస్ చేస్తున్నాము ఇంకొక బ్రిక్ని ఏం చేస్తున్నాము హారిజాంటల్ డైరెక్షన్లో ప్రెస్ చేస్తున్నాము ఇఫ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ హియర్ సి హారిజాంటల్ డైరెక్షన్లో బ్రిక్ని ప్రెస్ చేసిన దగ్గర చాలా లోపలికి వెళ్ళింది ద శాండ్ వెంట్ మోర్ డీపర్ బై ప్రెస్సింగ్ ద brick in the horizontal direction if you observe this see here uh, here the sand went lesser deeper by pressing the brick in the horizontal direction ante idi ikkada horizontal ga place chesinappudu area of contact ekku ayindi adhe vertical ga press chesinappudu area of contact takku ayindi anduku ekkuva lopalki శాండ్ వెళ్ళిపోయింది అనమాట ఎక్కువ గుంత పడింది అదే ఇక్కడ చూసేసరికి తక్కువ గుంత పడింది వాయ్ బికాస్ ఇందాక చెప్పుకున్నాం కదమ్మా వీ వీ ఆల్రెడీ సెట్ దట్ ఐ ఆల్రెడీ సెట్ దట్ వెన్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఈజ్ లెస్ వెన్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఈజ్ లెస్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ మోర్ అండ్ వెన్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఈజ్ మోర్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ లెస్ దీనికి ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఏంటంటే నైఫ్ మీ మదర్స్ వెజిటబుల్స్ అట్లాంటివి కట్ చేసేటప్పుడు నైఫ్ యూజ్ చేస్తారు దానికి కింద చాలా షార్ప్గా ఉంటుంది సో చాలా షార్ప్గా ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి నువ్వు లెస్ ఫోర్స్ అప్లై చేస్తావు అదే వెహికల్స్ చూడండి వెహికల్స్కి లా వెనక పక్క ఎక్కువ మీన్స్ వెనక లాస్ట్ రేర్ ఎండ్లో టూ టూ టైర్స్ పెట్టింటారు ఈ డ ఈ పక్క టూ టైర్స్ ఆ పక్క టూ టైర్స్ ఇంకా ఎక్కువ లోడ్ క్యారీ చేసే లారీస్లో అయితే ఫోర్ టైర్స్ ఉంటాయి 
మొత్తం వెనకనే సిక్స్ టైర్స్ ఉంటాయి ఎందుకు బికాస్ టు ఇంక్రీజ్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఎక్కువ ఉంటే ఫోర్స్ తక్కువ ఉంటుంది ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐఎమ్ రిపీటింగ్ వెన్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఈజ్ మోర్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ లెస్ వెన్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఈజ్ లెస్ ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ మోర్ సో ఇప్పుడు మనము ఆ టైర్స్ సిక్స్ టైర్స్ పెట్టామంటే టూ టూ టైర్స్ వెనకల పక్క సో మీన్స్ వీ ఆర్ ఇంక్రీజింగ్ ద ఏరియా ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వీఆర్ రెడ్యూసింగ్ ద ఫోర్స్ అదే కత్తికి కింద పక్క చాలా తక్కువ ఏరియా ఉంటుంది అందుకే వీఆర్ అప్లయింగ్ లెస్ ఫోర్స్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద అనదర్ టూ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్సెస్ సో ఈ దిస్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఈ లాస్ట్ టూ ఎఫెక్ట్స్ గురించి డిస్కస్ చేసాం కదా దట్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ప్రెషర్ ప్రెషర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్స్ బై ఏరియా ప్రెషర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్స్ బై ఏరియా ఫోర్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంఏ మాస్ ఇన్ టు యాక్సిలరేషన్ ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంఏ మాస్ ఇన్ టు యాక్సిలరేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డినోటెడ్ యాజ్ న్యూటన్స్ ఫోర్స్ని న్యూటన్స్లో డినోట్ చేస్తాము పవర్ని వాట్స్లో డినోట్ చేస్తాము ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ మా థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ హియరింగ్ this is the end of the class and uh, this is the end of the lesson also thank you thank you very much